The day started off at minus 28 degrees Celsius. But now it's warmed up to a brisk minus 20. Yeah, why don't you come along with us as we explore the west side of Lake Okanagan. In beautiful British Columbia. Come along. Let's go. Looks like our first stop is a bust. It's a one and a half, one and a half regular, and we can't find it. And the coordinates are looking into the cedar hedge, but it's right beside somebody's house in this little park. Yeah, we, so yeah. we're gonna have to give this one up. Yep, but it's got a great view of the bridge oh, it's pretty. over to Kelowna on the other side of the lake. Let's go look for another one. Yeah. There it is. You got it? Stuck between two skinny spots. Got it. Yay, we got one. And this one is right near the Bennett Bridge. It's one of the few floating bridges in the world. Oh, look, there's a little spider who's frozen. Ooh, frozen spider. Poor spider. She said it was too snowy. Yeah, it is, but I just did a little toe kicking and I got it. The clue was good on this one. It said under a rock, behind a rock. And the cache is called a million dollar view. And it is, this is BC's wine country and the view from here, while well, I sign the log, take a look, it's pretty cool. Well, if we're near wineries, we may as well stop and have a sip. Our next uh, cache brings us to an earth cache, right on the side of the road with this interesting geological formation. And unfortunately, with winter, there's not a whole lot of places to park. So we're going to take our observations and move on to the next location. Wow, that's cool. With fading light, we're going to end this episode here. It might look a little lighter, but with northern attitudes like this... And the mountains surrounding yeah. the valley it gets pretty dark pretty early. This is Peachland. We've been here before, but we didn't get this one done. Yeah, not sure what we were doing then, but we completely forgot to log this geocache. But we got it now, and thanks for coming along with us on this look for the west side of Lake Okanagan. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?